Changing Parameters in PF Diagnose 2.2 First we must connect to a DT series international engine. These are the only engines that are currently supported in PF Diagnose. Connect your adapter to the vehicle and to the laptop. Turn the ignition switch to the on position and select connect. In this case we are looking at a DT-466E. To change the parameters we select the change parameter icon. You will get a parameter change warning. Select OK. The scan will stop and then start reading all of the available PIDs that can be changed. This can take some time and if you see the information stop uh, give it some time. It may just be that the uh, video is, is taking a back seat and uh, if the information doesn't appear in a couple of minutes you can uh, worry about it then but generally you will see this. This can take a couple of minutes to complete depending on the speed of your computer. Once all of the PIDs have been read you will be presented with a screen to enter the password for the ECM. The default password for ECM is 0000. zero, zero, zero. Select OK. You will now see all of the available PIDs that can be changed in this engine. PIDs that are grayed out are factory only. In order to change these PIDs the program from the computer has to be sent to international in this case. Some of the PIDs are drop-down selection boxes and some of them are not. If you make a change, for example, we will change cruise control high speed limit from 77 to 7D. If you make a change, that PID will turn red. We will change the PTO in-cab mode from stationary preset to stationary or mobile variable. Again, you see that it is red. Once you have made all of the changes that you desire, select Save. The changes have now taken effect and scanning will resume. To complete this task, you should now cycle the engine on and off and restart PF Diagnose. When you restart, the new parameter should have taken effect.